Hello. So, I need to really get cracking on this uh, mission inspiration. Um, Halloween was yesterday. <laughs> I'm going to do the Halloween theme page, finally. Um, not 100% sure what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll start with the fibres, actually. Looking at this, I've got these. Start with that, or do I start with the pink? Let's get some of this down for background texture, and this may double up as my lips and tears. Let's see how it goes. Um, what do we do? It's a bit messy. Look at this. Ugh. I need to order some more gel weaving. It's completely scrambled egg now. I don't think this is going to stick at all. a little bit at the bottom so it doesn't look so perfect. I'm trying to cover up these staples from the page underneath. Okay. I'm not too bothered about the bottom because I'm going to use some texture paste on the there. Over fabric. I think it's like a bed sheet or something from something I was working on. And it's been tea dyed. Oh, just bit there, that looks good. There we go. Okay. Scrape off some of the excess. Mm. There we go. 
I'm going to say that that counts as my five is. Yeah. Do I try and paint over that straight away? Shall we? Let's do it. So I want a lime colour. I've got a neon green. And I'm just bringing hopefully this to look okay. Let's go. Let's just pop some down, get a nice brush. On. doesn't have to look great, you know, this Halloween page, it's going to be gruesome and gory and patchy and weathered and disgusting. <laughs> Not going to bother going to the bottom, as I say, I'm going to pop some texture paste down or something, as a sort of earthy, groundy kind of bit. which is really cool you know normally if you want to get nice and smooth you put some clear gesso or something over it but that's not what we're going for so I haven't and this is coming out great okay I have another Halloween idea as well, so I'm going to try and get this page done as quickly as possible so I can do the next one, which I'm kind of excited about. So that's that. And now I want some texture paste. I think that goes so nicely. So I really need to tidy this drawer up. This should be the next one. Purple, don't like that. Mm. What's that one? That's pink. Is it? Oh, I think it's white. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to mix it with some colour anyway. So, let's just pop the book to one side for a second. And I should really don't know what that was. I've been pushed over. <laughs> Uh, rename my channel something like the chaotic crafter or the extremely messy crafter <laughs> there we go. so I'm going to pop some of this down I think this is white actually that's got a nice gritty texture Add some of this uh, indigo blue, junk and disorderly, a warm tan. Um, it might end up being a bit too light, so we might have to add some other brown. We'll see.
Sounds like the children are returning home from school. <laughs> the first day back after the half term holiday. They're a bit noisy outside if that's what you can hear. Um, I think that will do. That's a nice kind of earthy kind of colour, isn't it? So let's pop that back in there. Away for the moment, and I'm going to put my book. Spread some of that on there. There we go. That's that. So, um, I think now I need to let that dry. Um, and I'm going to find my stamps that I want to use and maybe stamp out my character. Get that coloured. So, I'll be back in one tick. Okay, so it's not dry at all. But I'm going to crack on. So I've uh, stamped my Tim Holtz lady. She's my corpse bride. Um, and I'm going to go on with the making marks. So I've got this kind of pot holder y type thing. Use that. And some black, because black is one of the colours. Uh, yeah. A bit much, but never mind. We'll cope. So, let's see. I may have to go and shut the door in a second because I want someone to come and help. Okay. So, get a little bit of paint on there. And then I'm going to let that dry. Okay, so I think it's still a little bit wet, but let's continue. So I'm going to have my lady here coming out of the ground. I might put a bit of stuff over her. I've got this coffin, which I've cut out of a piece of 
paper that's got a wood um, printed pattern on it. I'm going to go around the edges. So that's my wood. Um, I didn't want to put anything like chipboard into this book because it would be just way too bulky. So, so we're going with a wooden pattern. And then I've got some stickers. Um, that one there, which is just from a sticker pack that I bought, and then this one I think, which is from the Antiquarian sticker book. Yeah, that looks good. So let's use some Elmer's glue to get our non sticker things down. <laughs> just going to play with another one. I've um, stamped this onto quite a thick card, so she might need a bit of help to stick. Put a bit of pressure on her. And then we can uh, hopefully this one will be uh, a sticky enough sticker. Let's just pop it there. I just want it to look like the coffin just sort of propped up against the tombstone. And this one I'm going to pop some glue on the back because as we know, these stickers from the Antiquarian Sticker Book are not all that sticky. <laughs> Especially with things like acrylic paint. Just needs a little bit of help. So we're going to pop that down there. So she looks like she's standing behind it. And then all I'm going to do is grab my palette. Which has still got that um, texture paste on it. I'm just going to grab a little bit of that, pop it over her so it looks like she's emerging from the ground, and we'll just add a little bit more to the bottom of the tombstone to disguise that edge. Blending. There we go. And then I have a sentiment that I want to pop on there. Uh, Some of the tin holes. Something wicked this way comes. I think I'm going to pop that there. And I'm hoping that this is going to. 
gonna stamp nicely. Or do I want to pop it? Ooh. Yeah, let's pop it on the tombstone. Have I got a block? unnerving when I have to stamp something without my printing press <laughs> because I can't just realign it hopefully that's not got too much underneath it that's bumpy cross your fingers yes nice okay now I just think all we need is uh, what colour? Brown? Yeah, I think it's going to be vintage photo. Let's use the actual distress ink. doesn't have to be perfect, all I'm doing is adding a distressed edge to frame the picture, or the page I should say. Um, it can be rough and ready and sins on the Halloween page because it's supposed to be grotty as I've said. So, I think that all I need to do now is pop the date on. I'm not going to let this up to October because I think it's, you know, obvious that this is going to be an October page. Okay. So, that's it. That's my October version of the Mission in, uh, 
for the Halloween version of the October mission inspiration. So please remember if you are interested in doing the mission inspirations, go over to Mike's Facebook page, which I shall link in the description. And I thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you soon. Bye.